Welcome to my second piece of film about the music I enjoy listening to and about the music I write. I thought I'd go into a bit more detail about the music I started to write and record in 1989. In the previous 10 years I built up a vast record collection of albums and singles from artists such as Gary Newman, John Fox, Ultravox, Kraftwerk, Erasure, OMD, The Pet Shop Boys, just to name a few. But it was in 1989 I decided I wanted to try and have a go at writing and recording my own songs. So I went out and purchased two keyboards. And very quickly I was coming up with little ideas for songs. And the very first song I wrote was a song called It Could Be Forever. And it's still one of my favourite songs to this day. So I set about recording this uh, particular song with Ray who was in the band at the time. And the only means we had of recording it were by linking everything up to a hi-fi. We didn't have a four track recorder or anything. So in essence the song was recorded live. We were really chuffed with the results and it gave us lots of confidence to go on and write and record more pieces of music. So my start in electronic music was with the song It Could Be Forever. As I've mentioned before, OMD have had a big influence on the music I've made and in particular a big influence on the music I recorded with Ray. With Ray we recorded a cover version of one of OMD's songs called Of All The Things We've Made, which is from their album Dazzle Ships. It was a very difficult and complex song to record and it wasn't helped by the fact that I had to play my keyboards in one room whilst Ray had to strum his guitar with a microphone between his knees in another room. Needless to say it took about half a dozen takes before we actually got the song recorded due to the fact that yes we played the odd wrong note but more so the fact that we couldn't stop laughing. It's one of the best memories I've got of the work I did with Ray and I'm immensely proud of that recording. In addition to cover versions and slower songs me and Ray also did some more up-tempo songs uh, in the vein of Erasure with still that little bit of an edge towards OMD and certainly I feel and I'm sure Ray will, will feel the same the best song we, we wrote was a song called Never Give Up On You From 1989 for a period of about 12 to 18 months me and Ray wrote around 20 songs and also did some cover versions. These included Blamonti's Living on the Ceiling and OMD's Electricity. But I think the period is best summed up with a snapshot of some of the best songs that me and Ray wrote. <laughs> 